to listen. If you want cheap and reliable free 40 no limit team coins for all platforms, check out MMOJ, link will be in the description. Also in the description is a video proving they are legit. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you episode 1 of my Legends Predictions. Now, I know this has been a long time coming and yeah, I've just never got around to doing it, but I thought I'd start now. Now, let me know two Legends you want to see in the next episode. It takes a while to edit, that's why I'm saying only two. Do apologise if you do want to see more. But anyway, I'm going to be starting with two that are rumoured to be in FIFA 15 by Foothead because of some commentator lines or whatever, and they are Peter Schmeichel and Carlos Valderrama. So yeah, let's just head straight into this. So the first Legend Legend, Carlos Valderrama. Now, let's go through his honours first of all before I go through the stats that I've given him. He's won the Copa America MVP once, he's won the South American Football of the Year twice, the MLS All-Star of the Year once, Major League Soccer MVP once, and he's also in the FIFA 100, which is basically the 100 greatest players of all time. So yeah, we'll move on to his career statistics. So as you can see, he's played 619 games, he scored 54 goals, his total MLS games, 175. Total MLS goals 16 and total MLS assists 114. I couldn't find his total assists, which is why I've had to put his, just his MLS ones. He also still retains the most assists in one MLS season, being at 26. He still holds that record today. No one has broken it. He is referred to as the blonde rude hullet mainly because of that ridiculous hairstyle that is unbelievable that is the greatest afro of all time that i have ever seen it is unbelievable but yeah the stats i've given him 78 pace he wasn't the fastest i don't believe he was more of a holding dm and he could run but you know he wasn't the fastest which is why i've given him 78 he was a superb dribbler though uh, he could beat players very, very easily, which is why I've given him 86 dribbling. His shooting was decent. I mean, he was more of a holding centre mid that was basically a kind of Tony Cruz player of today. He basically gets involved with the build-up play. He never wanted uh, to go forward too much. He wasn't a selfish player, anything like that. But he still could hit the ball when he wanted to, and he had a cracking free kick. His defence, i put it 78 again. He could do it, but he was more of a kind of number 10, but he was a little bit behind the number 10 role if that makes sense but he wasn't that defensive but I've gave him decent defensive stats because he could do it sorry if I sound like a complete idiot but you know I'm trying to justify myself as much as possible and to be honest I haven't seen too much of these legends I know a bit about them but not a great deal but anyway he was a superb passer which is why I've given him 90 passing he deserves that I mean he set the assist record in the MLS like <laughs> At 26 and it hasn't been broken you know that should show you how good of a passer this guy is and his heading 85 because of his ridiculous hairstyle you know he is very very good at heading it should really be about 5,000 just because of his hairstyle alone but yeah that is the stats that I have gave Carlos Valderrama and if he is anything like Rude Hullet like his stats would suggest then I'm gonna fucking love him in FIFA 15 I've gave him 89 overall as well I think that is pretty justified so yeah Moving on to the second legend, we have Peter Schmeichel, and you know what, I'm just going to skip over these honours, there's just too many, you know, you can pause the video and read them if you want, I just couldn't fit them all on, it's ridiculous how many honours this guy has won, it is unbelievable, the notable ones I suppose are being in the Champions League dream team for 10 seasons, he was in the Premier League, um, I think team of the season for 10 seasons, it says Premier League 10 seasons award, so I presume he got the award for being in the team of the season 10 times, you know it's just crazy how good of a goalkeeper this guy really was, so yeah let's head into some stats, so 648 games, by the way I'm not including national stats because that isn't really too relevant I probably should but you know I think we've got enough stats to be going on with anyway he scored nine goals he did like to get up for corners and um, I think he scored a couple of penalties in his career but don't quote me on that but yeah he did like to come up for corners late on if uh, the team was drawing total BPL games 310 and total BPL clean sheets 129 again I couldn't find his total clean sheets so I just got his BPL ones so yeah he was an absolutely fantastic goalkeeper possibly the best goalkeeper of all time certainly for Manchester United even though Edwin van der Sar was fantastic if van der Sar had been bought earlier I probably would have said he would have been the greatest man you goalkeeper of all time but he was bought when he was like 34 so you know 
Peter Schmeichel holds that uh, award in my opinion. I've given him 91 overall. That is the highest rating for any keeper ever. I mean, I know Neuer's had 94 team of the seasons, but that's only because it's a team of the season card. The default card, 91, I think he deserves a 100 fold to be honest. 86 diving, 89 reflex, 88 handling, 62 speed is very, very fast for a goalkeeper because he was exceptionally quick. 88 kicking and 94 positioning are the stats I have given this card. So yeah, they are the two legends. I've rambled on about them quite a bit. Hopefully you kind of understand why I've gave them the ratings I have. Let me know two more legends. I'll try and shorten this because this is nearly seven minutes for the next episode. Any doesn't really matter. I'll probably try and bring this out twice a week, something like that. I know I've been a bit stupid with my scheduling recently, but yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed. Let me know two legends in the comments as I said before. And yeah, peace. He was on 